was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms. And I will. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. Enemies to the east. Enemies to the west. Enemies to the south. Enemies to the north. Fully aware that this is going to be a tough match, TIS Warriors do not despair and hope to score the fourth victory in this season. So we sharpen our swords and spears, feed our horses and adorn our bows and arrows, and off to the fight we go. Even if visibly outnumbered and overpowered, Will Tiss be able to overcome all the obstacles and emerge victorious? Stay until the end to find out. TIS quickly occupies the Targaryen outpost and the Temple of the Mother. RRH runs for the Tower of the Warrior and the Lannister Outpost and gets them both. But the Mother's healing speed buff is too important. So RRH rallies and solos it until they take it from us. They do the same with our outpost. Obviously, they don't intend to let TIS gain any point. So our mighty fighters try to get back the warrior for its attack, defense, and health buff. No success, so we're getting ready to race for the ports. Tez manages to occupy the Targaryen port, but even fully reinforced, it is taken from us in a matter of seconds. With the morale already pretty down, we are trying to rally the mother, but we are hitting a thick brick wall and bounce back. Everyone is shining their boots to race for Casterly Rock. But again, no success for the Spartans. Meanwhile, more rallies are hitting the mother. Unfortunately, results are the same. In their attempt to turn the match in our favor, our fighters are going for CR, but even if they win the fights, the odds to occupy it are extremely low. Meanwhile, our small but fierce kittens managed to take both strongholds. Not for long, obviously, but it was fun trying. As soon as the bubbles of the castles dropped, RRH started decimating our troops making sure we will not be able to run for the mines. But when the mines are opening, Tiz occupies them both. We reinforce them as quickly as we can with all troops we have left after the solo attacks. While RRH, approaching already 80k points, seem to disband their buildings and help us reach 60k points, we definitely see the red flags as they continue to attack and kill all our troops. So a cat versus mouse race begins. RRH is luring us by leaving the buildings and we enter the traps with only one troop.
Despite everything, we never give up and hope to reach at least 40k points. And we succeed. Thank you, RRH, for the experience. Good luck.